The budget of 91 million US dollars was presented by the Kenyan Deputy Minister in charge of East African Affairs, Ken Obura, at the ESC headquarters in Arusha. The 2021-22 ESC budget has been reduced from 97 million US dollars. The minister says the reduced budget is as a result of COVID-19 pandemic, which has devastated the economies of ESC member states. During the year 2020, exports of goods shrunk in all ESC partner states. For example, exports from Kenya and Uganda contracted by 7.6% and 1.7% respectively between March to June 2020, while during the same period, imports of intermediate goods contracted by 25%, 11.3%, and 22.9% in Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania, respectively. There are some funny gaps which are very critical that would help in enhancing integration, but we are hoping and we are still negotiating with the council that there is a council meeting on the 5th of next month and we expect that there is some additional money that we have requested to be approved by council so that can close some of the funding gaps. We are, expecting, we are requesting for about $3 million. Budget estimates that have been presented to the East African Legislative Assembly are two perfect strangers. They speak completely two different languages. The budget speech of the chair council is very optimistic. It's a budget that is very ambitious. And yet when you look at the actual estimates that have been presented to the assembly, it shows a very grim picture of how much is being invested to the commitments that uh, the, the community has. However, there are concerns from the regional lawmakers over areas of allowances for virtual meetings for the period they have not been meeting physically in Arusha. And the mere fact that we are not meeting physically does not mean that we are not working. We were working, we were spending. So who was paying for that? For fuel is being spent. Uh, some people do not even have homes in, in, in the capitals. It's true, the members uh, of course of parliament uh, have outstanding obligations which accrued because of the funding gaps. Today we're meeting the chair council and he assured the committee on general purpose chaired by Honorable Damara that all he now requires is two more letters from the Republic of South Sudan and from the Republic of Burundi. Once they write in agreement with all other member states and therefore there will be a consensus, he says that money will be paid immediately. After reading the ESC budget, the General Purpose Committee will scrutinize it before it is passed for implementation. The ESC Secretariat will take the lion's share of 43.8 million US dollars. The Legislative Assembly will take 15.4 million US dollars, while the Inter-University Council of East Africa, located in Uganda, has been allocated 11 million US dollars. For the Lake Victoria Basin Commission, it will be 8 million US dollars. Lake Victoria Fisheries Organization, also based in Uganda, we get 3.6 million US dollars, while the East African Court of Justice has been allocated 3.7 million US dollars. Jingo Francis, NTV, in Arusha, Tanzania.